you need to choose some of the conceptual construction for each of these components, wall, roof, floor, etc. For this, it is very important that you choose some materials that, that relate to each other. I have here the different values of the different values for these conceptual constructions. What I have done, that is, I have been looking at these different conceptual construction that is built into the conceptual energy analysis and found the different U values. Second, I have grouped what is typical the construction you use when you, for example, have a wall or roof or at least the relation between the roof value and the wall value because typical the U value for roof is slower than the wall. So, for example, if I choose a very high U value for the walls for a specific comparing and then have a very low U value for the roof. Then when I look at, at two different concepts, one that's the small amount of exterior state comparing with one that doesn't have that, then it will not be that accurate result because I have chosen a very high value in comparing to the roof value. So I think it gives more accurate result by grouping these different construction types so I can choose between the orange type or the green type. Of course, you could choose and combine different construction and see the effect of what a high value for the roof have for effect on a specific proposal. I recommend to group the construction in logical groups that have the right relation between wall and roof values. So here inside Versailles, I will choose the, the orange construction type. So I'm ready to simulate the building. 